Haven's Bar. <laughs> Clue about anything, and any 
Anything she does know ends up getting ripped out from underneath her at any given time. So it ends up kind of working out because I get just as pissed off as she does. I feel like I live in this tiny town and everybody else knows what's going on and I've never told anything. And I'm asking everybody, here's the neat part, and nobody will say anything. It's, it's a and really fun game. And they look at each though. other a lot. Because they, they actually tell me everything. Exactly. See? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not true. <laughs> Schools of thought in Havenland. There are those in the camp of the actors shouldn't know anything. We should yes. surprise them every day. And then there are, well, I think pretty much just the actors on the other camp. The, only the actors would be in the other camp. In the other camp. No, and Sean, Sean Pillar, our, one of our executive producers, Sean Sometimes. Pillar. He, he does other We think that we should know everything because it's our job as actors to create the layers, the, the layers and the suspense and know that if we're starting here and going there that we can weave ideas in and out and reveal a little bit or to hold a little bit back. Where did that accent come from? We were doing Russian earlier. I know. Can we do the rest of the interview with the Russian accent? Okay. Both those questions bring up a larger thing, which is mythology shows and shows of mythology really seem to have taken off with modern audiences. Why, why do you think that is? I, I honestly think it's because of technology. I mean, to be truthfully honest, we don't really ever, we don't really live in a world now where you really have to tune in every single week. And, it, you know, we are very rarely... But you should. You should. You, no, you should. Live. You really should. Because we're still in a rating... A because we're still in a ratings world where that matters. But, I mean, it, I think by the nature of how television has developed, like, it used to be really important to get those single viewers that would, like... I know, but it's like yeah. a... Yeah. It's like that all day for I know. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy yeah. setup. Yeah. Crazy yeah. setup. Yeah. Crazy yeah. setup. Yeah. But um, it's not like you're flipping the channel and you're only going to stay on that one. Like, now you can get a season and you're like, oh, I want to watch that whole season. It's like reading the whole book instead of just being like, oh, I think I'm going to like this chapter or this chapter or this chapter. So I think the long-form storytelling, I mean, television is in its golden age in that sense, you know? So we are, we're really excited that our show is getting to lean more towards the mythology, but I think people that want, you know, the little individual stories of the week, they get that too. This was brought up in panel, but the one thing that slightly disconcerted me was watching Audrey show terror or fear, because in the season premiere we see her actually afraid by this man who's kidnapped her, and I thought, well, hasn't she been kidnapped before? And then in the second season, then we actually see her almost crying, and she's afraid, and Duke goes up and gets a screwdriver and thinks he's the cop with the gun. Shouldn't she go to see who yeah. might be coming? So how do you feel about this new development in your character? I love it. It was one of the main things that was presented to me when I was there sitting trying to get answers from our writers. Was what? So what's her arc this season? What's the, what's the, where's she going? Mm -hmm. And I didn't really get anything, mm -hmm. except for that there would be an external threat and something that would really Initially. shake her up that she would feel was always around. And uh, how does she handle that threat? Instead of her just trying to figure out her, her mystery of herself, like, how does she react when there's something actually not just going after people that she can help, but her specifically, you know? And I think it's interesting. I mean, it happens in her apartment. It happens in a place that she's safe, uh, right in the backyard of, you know, one of her best friends. And she is used to being protected in a sense, and all of that's stripped away now, too. So I really, of course, as an actress, love that opportunity to show that side of her. Where would you like to see the relationship between your two characters?
to see, I mean, we already know where it's going without filming the season, so I'm trying to answer this question without already knowing. Right, right. We, I know exactly where it's going, but in oh, saying that, exactly. yeah. like, 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 there's some spoiler information in here. You wouldn't want us to, though. Everybody thinks well, they'd want us to. I mean, I don't want to just be spoiled, but I think, yeah. but you know. The, 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 the thing is, Duke and, and Audrey's relationship is, is going to change, to change drastically over the next even few episodes. We still already started in the beginning. Of yeah. But, and, and also knowing where the season went, I gotta hand it to the writers again. They've now kind of really just opened up this new door. And there, uh, the, the potential of where it can go, I honestly don't know. And there's a lot more space and places for it to go, actually. So now thinking about your question, being able to remove myself from knowing what I already know about this season, I would like to really see these characters have to, to, to make a choice. I think choices are always forced upon them, whether it be with Audrey and Duke or Audrey and Nathan or Duke and Nathan. The choices are always sort of forced upon them. They're always sort of in effect of what's been happening. And I think it would be really neat. And I, I think in some ways, Audrey, Emily's character, did in some ways, we've seen at the beginning of this season with, with, with Nathan, she sort of made a decision about where that relationship was going to be allowed to go or not. But I would I would like us to start to sort of take the emotional you know roller coaster that we've been going on and start to say yes I want to take this this place or no I will no longer engage in this and we've never really seen that we've just sort of seen them bouncing off the walls and all this craziness that's going on. So. I think along those same lines, like as you while you're talking, I was just reminded of a whole other part of their art. I think that.
was like, what do you mean Duke's killed people? I'm like, Duke's killed people. He's been in trouble. He's had things. Like, he's not a sweet guy. I'm like, even in that season one, when I thought there was somebody behind a wall, I pulled a trigger on the guy's face. I'm like, he's he is a, a morally questionable person in some ways. Although he may have a good heart, but regardless, he's killed people. This is a, not a hard choice. This guy's a killer. He's going to die anyways. It's going to save his family. Why wouldn't he just kill him? This is stupid. I was pissed. And then Sam, in his wisdom, and Matt, in his wisdom, said, you missed the point. What are you talking about? They said, it's about his choice. His whole reality right now is fighting this so-called destiny. Is fighting this presumed role that he's supposed to play. And all this act does, it's not the killing part that's hard for him. It is the inability to get out of the maze. It's, 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 it's winding up in the same place over and over that he has no choice. And, and the idea that, that he doesn't have control of his fate, which is all he's been holding on to, is that if I don't want to be this guy, I don't have to be this guy. And I can stop from being this guy. And it, it, he just keeps getting pushed in his face. So that became really what the, the turmoil was about. It wasn't about just killing a human being, because I agree. I don't think Duke, given the right circumstances, has any qualms about killing. I know that may sound harsh, but no, no. I don't think he does. Yeah. Dovetailing off of that a little bit, I think there was an element of being heartbroken. He was heartbroken yeah. that Audrey perceived him as a killer and yeah. didn't trust him enough to come to him and say, this is our situation, how do you feel yeah, about it? Yeah, manipulating him into yeah. The betrayal of that, I think, was a huge part of it. Absolutely. Yeah. So are That's we going to see like Audrey like... making amends as a result? Because she's broken his heart. She That trust is no longer there that he implicitly had for her, that she would always be good to him. I think that this winding time clock for her, that she has X amount of days until the whatever happens, and whatever happens, really takes the camera lens in her life and cranks it into focus and makes things very black and white for her. She only has this much time left and so what can she do with that time she's at? It's as if she's been giving a, given a we kept saying like a, a cancer diagnosis. I have this many days left. What am I going to do with that time? And as much as it forces her to make these decisions regarding, we see her fumble with that, which is what I love. It's not clean. You know, she's like, okay, it sucks that I have to ask him to do this, but it's going to save so many X amount of people. So in the time that I have, I would save all these children and all these people, the greater good, you know, moral question. So, um, I think you saw her a bit in last night's episode, fumble to make amends with him, and she deals with the, he doesn't let her off the hook easily at all. I remember in several beats, like several episodes later, them talking about our relationship. I'm like, are you aware of the look that he gave me? the end, like, he's not okay with me. This is not just reset the button at the beginning of every episode. We are not in a good place, you know? So I think that there was a lot of fumbling for her, and I think it causes her to be off the rock for a bit. She's, she's not in a good place now with either of the two people that she could always be in a good place with. So, I think that's good television. In my opinion. That's very tough. Much happier with these other guys. They're so <laughs> 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 <laughs>